Manda has charged. He is the oldest in the refereeing ranks. He is bidding for his first grand final. Paul Simpkins in charge tomorrow. Here we go, 80 minutes away from knowing the first team through to the decider for 2004. And it's O'Mealy who brings it back, short of the 20, and Clinton is there. It's personal tonight up front, Clinton and Lang against O'Mealy and Price. And it's Price with the second touch, and it is Lang who was first in there on the 20. Price is making a slow walk to the touchline. This is terrible news for the Bulldogs. 10 away on tackle one. Running to the Paddington end of Aussie Stadium as Waterhouse, who made a devastating start against the Dragons. Another penalty here. Here is good. Another one of the retirees. He was immaculate in week one of the finals. And his first kick tonight is successful. It's 2-0 to the Panthers. Matthew John sideline. Yeah, the latest on Steve Price, not only has he got an ankle problem, but also a medial ligament problem at his knee. 19 metres away from the Panthers line. They need quick hands here. Sherwin, he'll send El Masri through. El Masri's come up with the ball. They will have to check it with the video referee. No, they won't. They say try. El Masri, Bulldogs four, Panthers two. He has got the most creative kicking game in the competition. Great work here. He frees it there. The kicker saw that this man, Luke Rooney, had come a long way in and left the corridor open down the side. Play continues deliberately for Hazamel Masri. Great combination. And young Fayoso gets over the 30. Prittis a dummy half. The 10 is a bit skinny now from Tim Mander. Nice offload there by Clinton for Prittis. Kept alive for Gower. Now it's Campbell. Campbell finds top gear. He's got Wesser in support. He looks to the right. This is Fatawira. 20 minutes from the line. Back for Wesser. That's one of the great finals ties. Reese Wesser scores it. Started by that little marble, Preston Campbell. 6-4. With five to go in the first half. Well, this is great work from Preston Campbell. Good offload there. Nice pass there from Craig Gow. Now, Campbell, Reese West has already gone through as a decoy. Campbell beats Matua. Sums it up beautifully. Onto the chest of Fatawira. Throws the dummy to Patton. And Reese West, who went through as a decoy, all of a sudden gets back involved under the post. They could lead at the break. And Preston Campbell just receiving a bit of attention. He went head first into the turf in diving on that loose ball. Clint. Oh! Clinton is hit front on by Sonny Bill. Wait, wait, wait. Waterhouse there. In the tackle of Matua. Now Prittis to the left. And Gower kicking from inside the 40. This is good. It's from inside the 41 bounce. It's there. Oh, what a kick to start the second half. This is 30 centimetres inside the 40. Waterhouse over the top. Fayoso and Campbell there as well. Hughes had a dummy half with a big dummy. Inside the 40, with support, it's Tonga, Wesser, classic tackle, Wesser on Tonga, Queenslander on Queenslander, oh, and Wesser is... could be headed to the sin bin. A professional foul, mate. Yep. He's off. Reese Wesser is off for 10. Well, he did a great job to deny a try, it looked as though really Tonga would score for sure. Preston Campbell went for the intercept. It was successful against the Dragons a couple of weeks back. This time it opened up for Corey Hughes. Nine metres from the line. Sherwin with it. Takes a dart at the line. And he's in the tackle of Galea. Three away. They come left. And Asta runs past Campbell. And Asta's over. The Bulldogs have scored. We are all locked up here at Aussie Stadium. It is 8 all. And everything is at stake. Well, that was even tougher, but you wouldn't want anybody else but this man attempting it, would you, with his... Nine in from touch, 21 out, El Masri, his kick, it is unsuccessful. It's none from two for the number one kicker. Sonny B. Williams short of the 40 in the tackle there of Waterhouse. Hughes is going to kick, he'll attempt his own 40-20. Off the boot, it's good. Off the boot, it's even better than Gowan. Corey Hughes has rushed out a dummy half. Well, you can do it, the Penrith Panthers. We can do it as well, say the Bulldogs. Tackled nine metres away from the line. Set to the right, there's an overlap. Sherwin's pass is long, it's been put down. Rooney was there. They're going to say offside. 
He's got this one. 21 metres out. 15 in from touch. El Masri, he scrapes it inside the right hand upright. And that record at least remains intact. It's 10 8 to the Dogs. Wester in the bin for another minute as they come to centre field with Sherwin. He's 10 out, throws the ball back in. And Master, he's lost the ball. He's lost the ball right on the goal line. He thought he was over. Now they're going to check it with a video referee. He looks certain to score, but Luke Prittis was able to knock it out. That's a great play. A huge play. Video referee is Graham West. The goal line dropout. The process has unfolded there. They've all got it right. Wesser is ready to come back on. Dummy half. Wesser is back out there for the Panthers as the Bulldogs come to the right. And Patton's ball was good. Matua's come out the other side. Matua! Matua has scored! In front of the Bulldogs' army, the Bulldogs have got their biggest lead of the night. And how ironic is that? Only seconds after Reese Wesser comes back to complete the full complement for his team. Five from the line. Sherwin's pass is great. El Masri is over. The Bulldogs have got another one. They are on the march. The grand final is tantalisingly close. It's 20 points to eight. The writing on the wall has been there for the last 10 minutes, and this is very similar to Rennie Matua's try. Grand final qualifier number one. Campbell first receiver. Another step. Campbell's over. This little magic man. Campbell's gone over. The champions are still in the game. And they've taken advantage of an unusual decision on the far side with Canterbury having the football. Live finals football on Channel 9. As the Bulldogs restart. Play Campbell's oh, going to it. Three the legs of Roberts. Roberts has got the ball and he's put his foot in that ball line. Well, there's another chapter in an intriguing novel that is this first grand final qualifier. No. Having scored the try to get back in it, through the legs of Campbell, through the legs of Roberts, slide over, line dropout. Boy, oh boy! And what about the line dropout? The line dropout hasn't gone 10 metres. They went for the quick restart. They went for the quick restart, didn't kick at the 10 metres. And now the Bulldogs have got a penalty in front of the post. Gower trying to get ball back for his team. But it's never going to go the 10 metres. In fact, it nearly goes out on the floor. It does. Look at the tally. 326 for the year. About to become 328. El Masri, there's another two. 24 to 14. Eight remaining. Yeah, he was just taking 90 seconds off the clock there. He's been phenomenal tonight, Sonny Bill Williams. He's played a lot of minutes. I know they're... Their system changed with Stephen Price leaving early, but Williams has just been incredible. Asatasi, another good charge, 25 out. This is a side in for the kill. Here is O'Mealy, second hit up in the set. Taken front on by Pulitzer and Fayoso. Still offloaded. Here is Sherwin from 10 out. The kick was charged down. Wes is knocked on. Play on the Bulldogs. El Masri! He's got a hat trick. Has an El Magic. Three tries. Bulldogs in the grand final. And for a winger to score tries under the post, as Hazamel Masri has done twice tonight, it means you're going looking for the football. You want to get involved in the game. Hazamel Masri, the first man to score over 300 points in a season. He's well on the way to 400. And there ain't a great deal of gusto in the Panthers' defensive side either. They know their fate. There's now Tonga. He submits in the tackle of Lang. They're celebrating the Bulldogs. This will be the final play of the game. This the That's final right. play of the grand final qualifier. It is over. And it is over for the defending champions. The Bulldogs are through to their ninth grand final since 1980. And their first since 1998. Have a listen to the fans here at Aussie Stadium. The Bulldogs winners by 30 points to 14.